So, um, ladies and gentlemen, the last thing we're going to talk about is, so far we've said, you know what, if I give you a slope and a point, um, if I give you two points, you know, write the equation of the line. Again, we want to be able to write the equation. When we're talking about writing the equation of the line, I'm looking for y equals mx plus b. And the last type of problems that we're going to go over are going to be fairly simple. They're going to actually already provide you with an equation, but now I just want you to write it in slope-intercept form. Haley, put it away. Like away. Like away. Like fully away. Thank you. So we're just going to write this now in slope-intercept form. So to go ahead and do that, you can see here I have the equation in standard form. So now I need to solve for y, which we've already done, which was solving literal equations, which was last chapter, um, or two chapters ago. So or actually, yeah, last chapter. So to do that, a lot of times I like to circle the variable. And now I just need to identify what is happening to my variable. You can see my variable is being multiplied by negative 7 and is being added by 3x. That's a positive 3x. So I'll be adding. Haley, you should have your pencil in your hand. So, Huh? I know. It should be in your right hand, because then that would say, there we go. So, or if she's a left hand. So now we're adding 3x. So to un I'm adding 3x to my negative 7y, so I need to subtract 3x. So therefore, I have negative 7y equals, instead of writing it as 14 minus 3x, we like to write it as negative 3x plus 14. We always want to keep your variable in front, as you can see, this mx plus b. And now I need to undo multiplying by negative 7, which will be to divide by negative 7. So I have y equals negative 3x plus 14 divided by negative 7. Um, for literal equations, that was OK to kind of leave it in that format. Um, but now that we are writing things in slope-intercept form, I want it to be written in this format. So to do that, I got to understand that negative 7 or negative 3x plus 14 is being divided by negative 7. So therefore, both of these terms, I have to divide by negative 7. So when doing that, so I can break it up like this. So you divide negative 7 into both of those terms. Then as we go ahead and simplify, I have y equals 3 sevenths x minus 2. And the reason why we did this is because we're going to prepare ourselves for graphing. So then the last thing I want you guys to write in is the slope is 3 7 and the y-intercept is equal to negative 2. So once you write it in the slope-intercept form, you're now going to have to identify what the slope is and what the y-intercept is.